Yo, 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 welcome to another vlog. It's Saturday morning here in Barcelona. It's beautiful, beautiful, it's sunny. But guess what? I'm staying home. I need to work. I have so many things to do because I'm also traveling on Monday. I'm super, super excited for that. So for a whole week, I'm not gonna be able to work a lot because we're gonna like visit, kind of play the tourist. It's also a country I've never went to. So yeah, super excited for that. So what I need to do today is I need to shoot the four videos for Instagram I need to edit some other videos I need to send to all my clients the dates for September and October for my coaching session so I can do my schedule and then I think I'm gonna clean up a bit my office my room all the desks and everything because I feel September is like the vibe of back to school so I want everything organized I'm gonna also set my September and October goals because I come back from the trip on the 1st of September so it's the ideal day to kind of re-enter the system school mode ah, i hate school you cannot imagine i'm so grateful i'm doing what i'm doing there's no one kind of uh, shouting at me to to behave in a way or in a different way so i'm super super grateful for that and yeah so many things are coming considering now i'm also investing a lot of money on my own kind of uh, self-development so i have now i think three or four different coaches and i'm super grateful for that but yeah like if i want to go far and want to go fast I need to also invest a lot of money you know on this growth I want to invest money with people that are already where I want to be like that I imagine how much time I'm winning instead of failing winning failing winning to actually know kind of the cheat codes of success so that's how I see it I'm gonna start working on everything and uh, see you guys and then after that probably I'm gonna go to the gym Saturday I love going to the gym and staying like three four hours there uh, because it's a beautiful gym it has like a rooftop where you can train outdoors then also tan you can also work so it's beautiful beautiful it's a big gym so today is back triceps I'm gonna go do that and then probably bring a book bring my tan journal read I love reading so yeah guys see you all I just finished filming five videos it took a bit more time than what I thought because it's the first time I uh, kind of have this uh, setup behind me so I wanted everything to be perfect and actually a trick I'm using I'm uh, putting like a self screen uh, a screen mirroring on the TV so like that I can see myself you know <laughs> all right I need to eat because I'm starving still didn't eat preparing myself to go to a gym and reflecting back on today I actually did more than what I wanted to do so that's really good I uh, filmed five videos I edited three videos and then I also started editing my first vlog and the whole clip is an hour 30 minutes and I want to reduce it to 20 minutes so it was a bit complicated now I'm at like 35 minutes there's still some things to remove and tomorrow I'm gonna finalize it put some music add some b-rolls and all of that but I think it would be ready to be uploaded this week i also delegated another video a youtube video where i'm like with a microphone talking about knowledge facts sharing maybe some books i read and stuff and i also received another video from my video editor where this video is a bit more raw me sitting and giving so much value and knowledge uh, that will also be uploaded i hope this week so my aim is to upload two videos on youtube one that is a vlog and one that is a bit more raw sitting and giving knowledge so i'm excited for that uh, and I also hopefully later will start delegating also the vlogs because the editing really takes a lot of time and kind of my full focus is my coaching and me becoming more valuable and getting more information so I can impact more and help more and the video editing I feel is a bit more robotic it doesn't need a lot of thinking it needs a bit of creativity of course but that's not something that I really enjoy doing um, so yeah slowly slowly and I'm gonna go do a back triceps day excited for that I'm, I'm eating my banana
morning everyone it's sunday here beautiful weather slept really really well and just finished meditating on gratitude and contentment and i usually always forget to be content <laughs> i'm always on the rush setting goals uh, wanting to do that 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 to do everything differently and sometimes it, it's really good to have this mentality but sometimes also i forget about all the achievements i did where i am right now is already kind of enough uh, just saying that feels weird but yeah it's it, this, this is the reality you know you should also be happy with what you have but not an extreme where you don't want more but yeah i'm a bit more extreme into like wanting more and doing more rather than like being okay okay with what i have sounds a bit harsh sounds a bit weird but you know that's how how i function and it's something definitely that i will work on because i truly believe if you're more in the present moment content and happy in that you will attract a better future rather than like actually doing creating it also can create a lot of attachment expectations and resistance so i need to kind of find the balance usually when i want to work on something i do a lot of research on that and i talk about that to my coaches in like a month sometimes it's done sometimes so sometimes you think you heal from something and then after like three four months something triggers you and the same kind of thing show up and it's totally totally normal like healing is a long journey a long process you can have like peaks of ups peaks of downs so yeah i got used to that <laughs> all right so today i just need to finish my vlog editing my vlog i'm excited for that and then i need to pack clean a bit the house and i need to pack to go to can't tell you right now tomorrow you will see but super super excited also feel a bit stressed because it's the first time ever i'm gonna give lexi to to a, a, a friend of a friend that is like a pet sitter but yeah like i need to i think i'm gonna shower her prepare all her stuff but i'm a bit stressed because lexi is not the best dog with other dogs you know like she don't behave that good with other dogs so yeah she has a bit of anxiety i i sometimes give her cbd i should also order one soon just remembered all right so see you yo yo i just finished packing right now i'm gonna chill sit on the sofa and read and this book is very very interesting it's called think fast and slow it's behind me but uh, it's complicated huh? it's 500 pages it talks about the mind cognitive behavior why do we take certain decisions uh, system one and system two in the mind so it's 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 like very scientific stuff but it's also well written so it's, you don't get bored or too overwhelmed while reading it and now when i read it's i like take full notes i write codes i write experiments and then i'm like how can i deliver that into content to a piece of content how can i share that with others because i don't love actually just reading to read i love you know getting the knowledge it's like buying a course going to university going to a class it's basically the same for me when i read and yeah after that uh, nothing nothing much i'm gonna take lexi i'm gonna give it to the baby babysitter dog sitter uh she's i'm gonna really miss her a lot it's the first time i also do that but but i don't have other options you know all right so see you all tomorrow i'm super excited for the trip Yo, crazy, crazy morning. We woke up at 9 and we received a message from the pet sitter that they can't uh, stay with Lexi anymore because she was not behaving very good. So for like 20 minutes, we were brainstorming. I thought I'm not going to travel anymore. It was crazy. Then we talked to a friend that already took care of Lexi a long time ago. And she's like a dog trainer, so she knows how to control Lexi. And she actually was in Barcelona and she was okay with that. So we went running to take Lexi and go back give it to the other trainer and now we're back home we're we're finalizing the the suitcase we're we're packing everything the small details the ipad and all of that and here we go to the airport but what well, was super stressful morning because i really thought i'm not gonna travel and <laughs> it went crazy Yo, 
yo, yo, good morning from France. We arrived yesterday, had a two hour flight. Uh, one hour actually, it was very short. But then we took the car for two hours to drive from the airport to the village. We're living, we're now in a very small village here in France. Maize. Maize, I have no idea, literally no idea where we are. Well, beautiful, it reminds me of the mountains in Lebanon. It's the same vibe. But without mountains. Without mountains. <laughs> it's just like all big uh, seeds. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is judging us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I had be a beautiful uh, bre a French breakfast with croissant, eggs, and good bread. And now we're gonna chill a bit and read. And later on, we're gonna go to La Rochelle. What is this place? In France. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do there? Um, visiting. Visiting what? I don't know the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'll see you. Yo, 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 good morning. It's 9 a.m. here in France. And today we're going to something where it's like a place they do shows. It's like an arena, like in the old times, where they do shows non-stop, different shows from 9 in the morning till 9 in the night. So we're going to have the whole day of just watching shows, but incredible, incredible shows. And actually there's a show in the night that is fully booked for two years in advance so if you want to watch it you need to reserve now for two years it's one of the most famous shows in europe and we're actually considering me and my girlfriend to buy the tickets now and uh, like that we know in two years we're gonna come back just to watch the show because it's something really worth it to do once in a lifetime that's what they say uh, and yeah actually <clears throat> it's a bit colder here than barcelona and the first day I arrived, guys, <laughs> I was so, I, I had this strong, very strong allergic. It's my first time I experienced that. It was horrible. Mm, but the next day I woke up so much better. But the first day was really, really tough. Like I couldn't breathe, actually. It was, it was horrible. I was sniffing all the time. It was horrible. And yeah, very, very nice here. We're like in a, in a sm very small village in France. So it's very, very calm. There's no distractions. There's nothing and even your thoughts are so calm i'm not recognizing myself because i'm usually because i usually wake up and like boom 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 let's do that 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 here i wake up i don't i don't even open my phone for like two three hours drink my coffee have breakfast and stare at the wall stare at the birds <laughs> it's very very peaceful but it's very nice like it's I think what I needed deep down uh, because you feel the difference when you when you come here and then go back to a big city like Barcelona you feel like Barcelona is very very intense compared to here but I love both I love a balance of both later maybe in the future having a house in a big city and buying a house in an island I love that that's one of our goals me and Alabama because we love islands it's so calm but at the same time you have like very nice islands where in summer there's also so like this vibe of party stood tourist coming Ooh, there's a bird that pooped i'll show you a lot of the show all right see you
Yo, 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 last day in France, traveling in a few hours, going to the airport. It's a two hour drive, then the flight is also around an hour and 10 minutes. So it's very short. Had a blessing, I really enjoyed it. It's so chill. I really felt like my body was resting, my mind was resting, but I'm super, super excited to go back to Barcelona. I love my life there. Um, I miss my routine, I miss my dog. I miss the gym, I miss my clients, I miss working, I love that. So there's a balance, of course, of uh, resting and working, and I love both. So it's just to, to find the right balance. So I didn't film every single day because I was also taking a rest of everything, even my phone. Some days I wouldn't open it uh, because I stayed six days here in France. Uh, and yeah, happy to be back. Uh, Thank you guys for watching. Comment below what you think about vlog number two. Subscribe to join this fast growing community and see you all next week.